Hey guys, it's Kim and I'm back with another project and this is another little gift that's going to someone um, very special. Um, and she likes earth tone colors and this person I find very inspiring. I always get very inspired by her work. She is one of the those people who is not afraid to think outside the box and um, very daring in her designs, I find, and she just goes for it, and I really admire that about her. So I wanted to do something a little special for her, and um, this is something she can hang in her craft room, and as you saw in the pictures in the beginning, it um, is an altered wooden key, and I just have it leaning up against this for the moment, but I'm going to move that now, and um, the key itself is actually from Kaiser Craft. Um, it's really a nice thick key and what I did with this key was um, I did a crackle uh, paint on it. Um, I did the bottom coat in black and I have used the stuff called Crack It that I got at my local um, hardware store and I've I've showed you guys um, this crackle stuff before and if you go back a few videos I'm sure you'll find um, the information on it, but if anybody wants the information on the stuff that I use to crack this, just drop me a line, leave me a message down below, or send me a private message, and I'll pass on the information to you. Um, so what you do is you paint um, the base color, which in this case was black, and then you do a coat of the crackle medium, and you let that dry. You don't use a heat gun, because I just find if you use a heat gun with crackle medium, it just does not work right. And I also find, too, that when you put the crackle medium on, you really need to put it on nice and thick. And you can see in the back here all these really great cracks that I got from doing that because I put it on really, really thick. And then when you put your top coat on, which is the white, also you have to put that on very thick as well. And you don't go back and forth with your brush. You go in one direction only because if you go back and forth, it's just not going to work properly. So... Those are my tips for, for doing crackle, but, um, you know, I, I don't mind coming back and, and showing on camera. So if anybody wants any other information about that, please just drop me a line. I'm happy to show you. So anyway, as I said, this is a Kaiser Craft wooden key, and after I did all the crackling on here, um, I went around with uh, one of my Prima chalk inks just to give it a bit of a vintage feel. Um, she loves earth tones and vintage things, but she also likes a bit of steampunk, too. So I tried to combine... Sorry about that, guys. The batteries in my camera died. Um, so as I was saying, um, after I did the crackle, I started to embellish. And um, she loves a bit of steampunk, a bit of vintage. And um, the letters that I used, I actually got at Dollarama. They're wooden letters, and you get 26 in a package, and you get one each of the alphabet. So I just took them, and I took some of the Prima Divine paper, and just a very sort of neutral... Um, paper, like nothing fancy with um, pattern or color or anything. I wanted to keep it very vintage inspired. And I just covered the letters with um, the paper. And then again, I went around with my chalk inks on each letter. Um, so starting here at the top, of course, I've just put a bit of uh, seam binding here. And she can hang this up through the hole right here um, on the wall in her craft room. And I've used a few wild orchid craft flowers in white, tan, and black, and a darker brown. And then here you'll see um, this is some uh, wooden um, honeycomb that I had in my stash. And I just took some Distress um, embossing powder, and uh, I went over that with it. And I think it was the vintage photo one I used on that. It's one of my favorites lately. I just love it. And it just added a bit of uh, shabby sort of vintage look to it. And I just cut the wood with some scissors um, just to, to add a nice little piece there. And then here I've got some metal pieces from Butterbee Scraps. This is a, a little clock piece here, clock workings and a couple of gears in metal um, from Butterbee Scraps. So and then there's the letter A that you can see, and then I've got one of the Tim Holtz um, sentiments here. It says, live in the moment. And then on either side, right here and over here, um, are some Prima Junkyard findings. And then coming down to the letter R, the same thing. I just covered it in paper and went around with my chalk inks. 
And then you can see here that I've used a Prima uh, wing. I love these wings. They're some of my favorite Prima resin pieces. Another little junkyard finding right up here, a little screw to make it look like it's kind of screwed into the R. A few wild orchid craft flowers here in the same colors. And this metal piece I got in a swap. I have no idea where it's from, and I actually don't remember <laughs> who gave it to me. So I'm sorry if you gave that to me. I'm really, really sorry. Um, but I love it, and I've used it there. And then there's another little Prima piece right there, the little tiny gear. And then right down here is another uh, junkyard finding right there. And then here we have the letter T, and this is a Gina's design piece. It's actually a wooden key. You can see how nice and thick that is. And I will be coming back to explain all about these wooden pieces you've seen in my videos. I'll be doing that soon. Um, and I embossed it again with the um, vintage photo. Another little Prima junkyard finding, and uh, some wild orchid craft flowers. And this gear back here is from Witchcraft. Uh, witchcraft do you do um, carry store in Australia that she sent me in a recent rack and there I've covered the tea with the paper again going around with my chalk ink and then this metal piece from Butterbee Scraps and a little black rose from Wild Orca Crafts another little pretty brown rose I love these brown roses they're so pretty um, just down here in the corner and then coming up the side here, you can see this piece here, and it goes all the way up the side of the key here. This is from Gina's Designs, and it's one of her border pieces. And all I did with that was I painted it white, and then again I lined it with my um, Prima Chalk Ink, just in a, um, a light tan color, and just put that there, just to give a bit of background behind the dress form. And the dress form I painted a tan color, and then I used my um, my clear embossing um, ink, and I stamped it with my script stamp, and then some gold embossing powder, uh, just to sort of give it a bit of sparkle there. And the dress form is from Witchcraft, and it's uh, MDF wood, and you can see how nice and thick that is. And that was in my um, rack from Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Uh, so I just love the way that came out. And then I've used this film strip here, which that was in my stash. It's a little wooden film strip. And so was the letter J, and that J is there because this is going to someone whose name starts with a J. <laughs> and a uh, little rose from Wild Durka Crafts, and these cute little scissors from Craft Supplies 1. And that's about it, I think, for this. It's a very simple piece. I didn't want to overdo it, but I think that it kind of represents the person that it's going to. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with that. I'm just going to move my camera just a little tiny bit so I can try and get the full view in of this. So let me just hold this up. There we go. So you can see the top there and all the crackling. I really love how that turned out. And the letter A, and the little honeycomb there, and the metal pieces. Whoops, this is hard to hold. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And then the R, and then there's the border piece, and the dress form, and the little accessories there by the dress form. And then coming down, you have the letter T, and the bottom of the key, a little gear, another key there. So that is basically it, guys. Um, let me know. Oops. <laughs> let me know what you think. I hope that the person who's going to receive this will like it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, and please leave a comment. I love to hear from you. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.